Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to the Pulse Spectrum. What? Welcome to the Pulse Spectrum channel. Um, I'm kind of going through an identity crisis right now. I don't really know, like, what direction to take my channel down. I've been doing a lot of like internet gossipy type of shit, mostly focused on Megan The Stallion and. Nicki Minaj, but I'm kind of getting bored of that, and I've been doing that just a week, but I don't know, I guess I'll keep doing it till I get monetized. Today, I wanted to focus on Beyonce's new brand, because I've seen a lot of people talk about this in a not-so-positive way. Here's the thing. I... <laughs> it's so funny how Beyonce has never succeeded in any of the brands that she's been involved with, in any of the businesses that she's been involved with, outside of music, it's so sad. <laughs> um, and this is why a lot of people are like, yeah, this sacred hair brand is not gonna succeed. I made a video about it. Um, well, no, wait, no, let me get back. I made a video about it that I'm yet to post. I don't even know if I should post it anymore. No, I'm gonna post it because uh, I need the views. But I'm going to post it and I was like, I really do feel like this is the best brand that she's ever like done that I think is going to be successful. But yeah, it's so sad that literally almost every brand that she has been involved with has flopped like around 2005, 2006, 2007. There was House of Darion. Was it 2005? It was like the late 2000s. It flopped. Um, yeah, she did it with her sister and her mom. I remember, like, one of the central things about the House of Darion were, like, jeans. And it didn't really have a specific identity. It was basically something you could get, like, at Forever 21. So why would people, like, buy House of Darion? Which, in my mind, would probably be more expensive than Forever 21. Not that I'm condoning fast fashion, but, like... Fuck it. If you want to buy fast fashion, buy fast fashion. Just be sensible about how you buy products and spend money. Because, you know, we don't want to destroy our planet. But, like, yeah, it flopped. And then, I don't know which other brand she's been involved with. I know that she did, like, a partnership with L'Oreal. And, but but that wasn't, like, a, a, a she was just, like, a face of L'Oreal. So she was being paid for it. So that's great. Uh, she's not involved in Vogue. But then there was her collaboration with Topshop, which was Ivy Park. That's how Ivy Park started. There was, like, something happened where they had to uh, leave Ivy Park. Something happened. I guess it wasn't doing very well. So they left Ivy Park, which is a more accessible, affordable um, brand image, to Adidas, which is a lot more uh, mid priced to premium stuff so it was a little bit more expensive but that also flopped and the reason why i think ivy park flopped was because it literally did not make sense it literally did not make sense it was trying to be like at leisure sportswear but like also fashionable and the product looked like something that you were supposed to be able to take to a dinner or like go out and shop in like i'll show a bunch of pictures you see it it looked like something that was supposed to be worn out casually but like nobody's wearing those clothes out they look like costumes ivy park clothes looked like costumes they were kind of a joke and also they were kind of expensive too but yeah beyonce does not know how to do business outside of music everything she does outside of music flops even her movies i was reading a few comments on twitter and people were saying like she should get back into her movie bag because they miss it like stop almost every movie that beyonce has been featured in has had nothing but negative reviews except for maybe dream girls but dream girls had a really solid strong cast yes beyonce is one of the main attractions to the movie but like Jennifer Hudson, um, Anika Rose, Jamie Foxx, Eddie Murphy. Literally everyone else in the movie was a better draw than Beyonce. Like, they all helped Beyonce. Beyonce brought really very much nothing but her star power and her incredible voice to the movie. And then there was Obsessed with Idris Elba, which, I mean, when I was younger, I was not obsessed, but I liked that movie. It was fine. 
but it didn't really do very well. She did that movie Cadillac Records. Fine. The Pink Panther 2 movie where a lot of people basically thought she was white because her skin was really 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 light i think that's when like the skin bleaching rumors started um and they've never seemed to go away but yeah that movie too was a thing and yeah i think after like obsessed she never did any movies i think she did a cameo like she was a voice actor for epic it was this animated movie but like that was the only thing until the lion king and I don't even think she would have gotten the Lion King if not for her star power and the fact that they needed an all like mostly black cast, right? That's in my opinion why she got the role because her voice acting is just as terrible as her in life acting. I'm not trying to be shady, I'm just like being honest. But yeah, she doesn't really do anything very well or at least it's not as successful as her music stuff. But a lot of people have been talking about how they think, oh, this brand is also going to flop because all her other brands have flopped. Like I said in my previous videos, if I've posted them, that is, I think this brand is going to do really well. Beyonce is known for her hair, although it was pointed out in the comments section that she isn't known to wear her natural hair out which i mean i don't know how accurate that is but we've seen beyonce's natural hair and it's gorgeous and in my other video i didn't really know what the brand was going to be about i thought that she was going to do um a little bit more black focused hair but from the teasers from the videos that i've seen about it it looks like a full range full spectrum hair brand for everyone who has hair right she didn't just focus on the black hair community which i think would have been a very stupid move because black people are like less than 20 percent of the american public and they don't have a lot of money so like just focusing on that very niche audience and let's be honest most of those people would rather buy like shea moisture or like some ethnic focused hair brand than a 20 30 50 dollar beyonce shampoo beyonce conditioner product lines type of shit but with this she's broadening her customer base and it, it is so smart i think beyonce has learned from her past mistakes and i don't think even with the way it was marketed using other celebrities and other influencers it's not going to be beyonce's face on the brand or oh, hopefully I, it's not but yeah this it's it, it's really interesting it looks really interesting i'm so excited for what is to come and i do still think that it is very possible that she could expand this into a full beauty line into a full beauty brand but you know she did talk about the brand in her videos and it very much looks like she's focusing on hair it makes sense her mother was a stylist her mother was a hair person her, a hair beautician but yeah i'm excited for this anyway let me know what you think and i'll see you in the next one bye